Maailman paras kesä on ollut turmi, jonka tilanne isku apa on nyt kaupoissa. Jos ei ole, niin sanoo, että soittaa iso kalampani mulle. Hi everybody, I am Tarja and you are watching Chaos TV. Okay, so hello everyone, Chaos TV is today here at my hometown in Vaasa, Finland, and we have the pleasure to talk with Miss, uh, Mrs. Tarja Turunen. So first of hello and welcome to Vaasa once again, and also welcome to Chaos TV once again. Thank you so much and thank you for having me. Pleasure. So in general, how has the summer been so far for you? It's been good, actually. I've been able to enjoy my home more in this summer, so we decided to have less shows. I have been doing few shows, few festivals in this year, but but less because I wanted to concentrate into writing new music for the new rock record. That is that is the process is the songwriting process is getting getting along very well. I mean, I'm I'm really having a good time and. I also wanted to stay at home because of the fact that I want to stay, uh, share a little bit more time with my family. I won't be seeing them too much this fall, so. But it's been nice. Hot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you actually had the time also to relax and do nothing, basically? Not yet. <laughs> that time will come. Actually, I will have a holiday, like a proper holiday that I, to be honest, talking with you, to be honest, I don't remember where has been or when has been the last proper holiday with the family so that we leave the f even the phones and everything off like stranded <laughs> I don't know I don't know how many years ago that was the last time so now in August there will be like a little bit more than a week of holiday okay so mm. that's that's good that's excellent yes so speaking about when you were last time in Vaas I had a conversation with you and and obviously what happened at Vaas Aisol was something that nobody couldn't <laughs> expect. So what kind of like memories do you actually have from that day? It was a little bit chaotic. I mean, uh, I was I was not even able to myself um, enter the stage yet. So I, I was not, you know, they started to evacuate the place already before it was my turn to see the people. Actually, I didn't see the, yeah. I didn't get to feel the audience or anything. So it was kind of sad in that sense that um, that happened. But and in many ways, it was sad that that happened. But at the end of the day, I have to say that it was a moment where all of us as artists, we really felt togetherness and uh, it was a moment also where we felt like anything can happen and we are just humans and uh, things are out of our hands and it was a kind of a beautiful feeling to seriously feel each other the care you know and all that we were all kind of uh, bumped down with that and and but at the end of the day I can say it was a beautiful feeling to sit to feel that we were all there together, supporting each other. So overall, what kind of experience was that Raskasta Joulua thing for you? It was really nice, really nice. I really enjoyed it. And uh, in this year you will see me hmm, performing in many, many, many concerts. Okay, so almost you plan on doing more? Yeah, almost a complete tour. Like there are like 18 concerts or something like that. I will be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you uh, you enjoyed it that much that you yeah. you, you will do it more. <laughs> yeah. And the guys, I think they did as well. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a nice one. So speaking about today, you will be performing with the Philharmonic Orchestra, and that's something that you normally won't do. So how much are you actually looking forward to the show tonight? It's a very nice show. It's not the complete Philharmonic, though. There are just some members of the Vanta Vanta Kaupungin um, Orchestra, the city orchestra. So uh, it's uh, like um, it's not the complete show, complete orchestra because of the lack of space and you know everything. We have a it's a big stage, but it's not big enough to fit a complete Philharmonic orchestra with us with a rock band we all occupy a lot of space maybe I'm the teeny tiny one there yeah. in between of all yeah. but uh, a lot of people on the stage tonight and yeah it, it's a really nice opportunity I really enjoy doing these kind of concerts last one like this might have been like many years ago already with the rock band and uh, symphonic orchestra I do the symphonic concerts other way you know I have a um, 
I have plenty of concerts with symphonic orchestras, but that's different kind of music. <laughs> yeah, but is this somehow also different from those? Yeah, 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 sure. Of course, this is uh, this is a special show. It's based on my music, de- definitely on my albums. You will hear songs from each of my album, and uh, even a Nightwish medley you will hear. And the arrangements have been done, you know, accordingly, uh, based on each song and what was there on the records already. So easy, easy way of going in a in a way. So did you had to do a lot of like preparations for this one? Not necessarily, no, the arrangements, that was the thing, you know, obviously be in touch with the conductor and uh, let them know how is the, you know, they need to play with the click track. The orchestras are not used to play with the click track, so yeah. they need to really, really bump into the time and uh, check it out with the conductor all the time. But yeah, we had a sound check today and yeah, that's it. So do you actually enjoy challenging yourself this way that you like to do all these like somehow new kind of things all the time the challenge is my second name i think uh when it comes to challenge it's really like that i i really in everything actually what i do i don't want to i do not like to repeat myself i've been talking about this a lot but is is something that if i write a song i wrote it in a way it it was born it's there so i don't want to kind of it really would bug me very much uh if i would end up writing a similar kind of a song the next it's like i need to go somewhere else and absolutely it's a it's a huge challenge that i'm always facing or putting to myself but if i am if i know that i am capable of um, taking that challenge or diving into it i will go for it always So will that eventually become harder and harder and harder because you have more and more and more albums out? Sure. Everything is written already once or twice or fifth time. So yeah, yeah I know everything is written already. So in that sense, definitely it's uh, getting harder. But um, but the challenge lies in everything, you know. The challenge lies in with who I decide to work or where I decide to go or, you know, everything is a kind of a challenge. But you have to be able to also take risks because if you don't take risks, nothing really happens. Yeah, yeah. Mm, you cannot. You There is always room for improvement in life. And music, there is a lot of room for improvement. You cannot be the best in what you do. You can only aim for the perfection, but uh, yeah. So you yesterday released a live album, Act Two, where you actually played like two in totally two different places. So yeah. could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, Act Two is my second live release and uh, recorded in Milan and Italy and the other show was recorded in London Metropolis Studios. Not an unplugged uh, show, it was a rock show in a studio in London, in a historical studios. I was very, very honored to be able to make a show there for the press and for the label people uh, and for the handful of hardcore fans. They came all over the world, they were just sitting just right in front of me or and the band and it was very exciting the moment i i would really actually i enjoyed it so much because it was so nerve-breaking uh to perform the songs from the new album for the first time live we were really doing a first time performance and the hardcore fans that have seen the good days the bad days any kind of days of mine you know they know me already so They were breathing the same air, listening the songs for the first time ever, and I was seeing their reactions. Like, okay, okay, that song, how how did it feel? Like, you know, it was really, really nice. So I would like to have those kind of uh, opportunities again, you know, one time. But Milan show is a bigger show, and and it was already filmed in 2016. I was working on the release, uh, editing the video and the music for almost six months the, I spent the whole beginning of the year for that uh, because it was eight hours and half of music and video so quite, you, quite a lot quite a lot because also um, two festivals they were involved uh, Hellfest and Woodstock and uh, these two shows a lot of music and a lot of pictures and a lot of material in yeah. a hand and wow so what kind of like experience was that to play in front of just a couple of people Was it somehow like more nerve-wracking than playing for thousands of people? Because you are like more intimately 
close to the people who are seeing the show. You got it. I mean, it's definitely definitely harder for me to sing in a birthday party of my brother or something like that. Yeah. You know, seriously, yeah. Yeah. people are like, ah. <laughs> and and they kind of, I don't know. It's just you feel everybody's emotions. You yeah. feel. I can, yeah. I can, I can, I can. I, receive all that and it's a huge input that is coming towards you obviously a Woodstock performance more than half million in front of me you know yeah. more than half million when I walked to the stage it was like I cannot even describe the feeling that you get from the ocean of people sure I enjoy that too but more nerve break nerve I was so nervous in London in that everybody were but When we finished the first song, it was like, wow, that's it. We had a good time and we, again, as a band, we really, we feel that togetherness and we felt like, yeah, we are, we're gonna rock this and the fans were having a great time. It was a nice celebration, really nice. So speaking about the fall, you will be leaving on a tour with Stratovarius. So how much are you actually looking forward to that? Really much, really much, because you know the fact is that I've been looking for a partner in crime <laughs> from Finland for a long time already. I mean, I would have loved to tour already with the uh, other Finnish bands or you know earlier days, but it's always the problem comes uh, in hand when you you know you need to find the suitable schedules. Everybody's touring, everybody's releasing albums. The schedules are different. To make the match was a hard hard job so I was really happy when we finally got the news that okay Stratovarius can do it and um, since we are friends for a long time and and uh, it's it's really fantastic to go on the road with them so how much does it actually differ when it comes to set list that you are playing with the more of like a heavier act do you actually plan on putting the set list for more like your heavier songs or does that actually matter that who are you touring with not at all i mean tonight you will hear a heavy set from me so uh, you will hear a heavy heavy set and you will always i i am a, well actually my concerts are very atmospheric they are very emotional concerts and uh, and my audiences also they are very wide open-minded audiences you know they are they are young people coming with the parents also but they are rock rock metal minds i mean in the end of the day they are metal minds and so i play rock concerts they are rocking okay mm. so in the end a bit about the future plans in general so what's in the scope after that stratovarius run you plan on doing raskas tayolua shows what's happening after that new album i will be hitting now on the road now the road i uh, already on 23rd of august i have a first show in brazil i have like three weeks of tour before the strato tour so i have a tour in uh, latin america and usa after that is the stratovarius tour it's a long one and uh, right after that is the 18 concerts with raskas teolua here in finland and after that i fly directly with uh, to czech republic for my Christmas symphonic Christmas concerts. Uh, I released last year at the end of the year dark Christmas album so I will be touring with that symphonic concert. So if you ask me in which kind of vocal shape and physical shape I'm <laughs> at the end of the year of the, all these tours I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope for yeah. the best. <laughs> yeah really, really uh, let's hope for the best and fear for the worst. <laughs> no but si- It's been like uh, I've been running like crazy. I'm physically, I'm in the best shape ever, I think, uh, at the moment, uh, vocally as well. So I think that I'm at least the beginning won't be so hard. Let's see how long it can last. Hmm. So will you actually plan on releasing new music also next year? Definitely yes. This album that I'm writing now, that um, I hope to hit the studio with the guys, uh, the production in the be- in the beginning of the next year. So you can expect the album release more or less. Somewhere. <gasps> maybe even later, maybe October, September, October, somewhere there. I could say festivals. I will be touring next year a lot of festivals. Okay. So hey, thank you a lot for the time and all the best for the future. Anything you want to say? As last words to all the fans watching this. Yeah, I, as always, I wanna thank you 
for the support and love and um, thank you for being there for me i mean so many years already so many beautiful years have passed and so i'm i'm really grateful for your support and see you on the road yeah thank you thank you